Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing, removing, and replacing. I'm gonna show you how to remove and replace. I have not got the piece yet, but uh, 2009, 10, 11, 12 Toyota Corollas. The code P0340, okay? That'd be for the cam sensor. This car has two cam sensors, so if you want to do it, knock them both out. They're about 40 bucks each, and you can probably find a better price than that. Uh, you can do it yourself. So all I did was I took off the lid, and then we have access to both cam sensors, okay? One has a black connector, one has a white connector. One is for the intake. The one that you see over here, right up in the front, is for the intake. The one in the back is for the exhaust, okay? So whenever I change cam, one cam sensor, I replace them both because it will tend up to that uh, the other one will fail or will not have a proper signal, strong signal. So I'm gonna show you how to take them both out. Very simple video, okay? So very simple. What we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna need a number 10 ratchet uh, socket with the ratchet. So uh, right over here, you have the intake cam sensor. So all you're gonna do is I'm gonna push on the connector. You're just gonna have to push on that little tab and remove this connector, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing for the one in the back. And make sure you have your ratchet on loose, loosening. This one is going the wrong way. So take off that bolt, it's a number 10. All right, take out this bolt. Number 10, and after that, see if you can pull up this sensor nicely and easily. Try not to turn it because some of these sensors are flat and they ride just against the cam lobe, uh, the cam uh, gear in the back. Um, so, assist it with the flat ass screwdriver and you simply just evenly, try to get it evenly to come up, very evenly, okay? Wiggle it a little bit. There you go. All right, so you got the cam sensor out. I am waiting for the new one, so I want to finish out this video. So what you're gonna do is, uh, this threshold you put around the new seal when you inspect. Um, this is nice and clean, so you don't have any oil leaks. So all you do is you simply take this. You should feel a little snug into it, and after that, you take your bolt. Put that in. And you take your ratchet. Just give it very lightning tight. Light tight, okay, not crazy. And then you take your connector. Make sure you hear a snap and you're all done. And the procedure for one in the back, let me see if I could aim my camera really good. It's right in the back. Okay, I'm sorry if we can't see this very well, but right back here, we have a connector. It's a black connector right there. So you simply just, same thing, push on the tab and try to take the connector off. Sometimes it won't come off. You need assistance of the flat hat screwdriver. Let me see, there you go. The connector comes off. And then you have a bolt right there. And uh, it's also number 10, so we're going to take our ratchet. Oh, this one's pretty tight. There you go. Whew. And once it's loose, you can simply just use your socket and extension. Turn the bolt. Turn, turn, turn. Until the bolt comes out. Try not to drop. So there's the bolt, bolt is out. Now the magic works, same thing. We're gonna try to pull this sensor off. If it doesn't come off, just assist it with your um, flat head and magically it will pop out. And after that, all you're gonna do is to put a new one in, put a little bit of oil. Like I said, if you only have code for one, for, uh, for the intake, then just change the intake. This is the exhaust, one in the back, his exhaust is in the back. And then we're gonna take our bolt. Make sure you catch the threads. We'll take our extension here, see if we can catch some threads. 
There you go. And of course, we're gonna have to lock it down with our ratchet. All right, and that's it. Give us a small little snug. Don't, do not forget to put your connector in. Do not forget to hear that click. And that's it. Put your cover back on to reset the light. Uh, put a stand tool on. Do not disconnect the battery. A lot of people disconnect battery. You will lose the memory on the throttle body. Do not do that, okay? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.